Shalom Yashala. I'm going to begin to sit down by saying, first and foremost, Baraka Fah Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakwal Kadash. Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai is the name of His only begotten Son. Um, I'd like to say double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that teach brothers well. Salutations to all of the sincere Akiyam worldwide, pushing this truth in sincerity, doing everything they can to exalt the name of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Because in this coming time that we're coming into, man, the time of Jacob's trouble, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai is all that we're going to have. The Heavenly Father is all the defense that we're going to have in these last days, man. Hence why we ought to show the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai that we're down for Him. I've gone through this particular topic many a times. You know, one, one scripture that always hits home is Baruch 4 and 28. Once being astray from the Most High, now being returned, seeking ten times more. But you know the reason that we're doing that is so that we can we can in this modern in 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 these so-called um, free times, even though we're in slavery, and before the the, the 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 time of Jacob's trouble really kicks in, is so that we can get ourselves right with the Lord, so that we can build ourselves up spiritually, man. Because hey, like Isaiah thirty-three and six says, wisdom and knowledge truly shall be the stability of our times. You know, I'm gonna start this particular sit down off. Just on the topic of basically prepping yourself and staying right so the Lord Jehovah Shai will, will watch over you. It says in 2 Timothy 2 and 15, study to show thyself approved to Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. That goes into the spirit of being on fire for the truth and being hot for this. Because Yahweh Shai himself said, man, when he was addressing the church as Asia Minor, he said, man, regarding those that were lukewarm, that he would spew them out of his mouth. Now, they pursuant to Psalms, the 51st chapter. In fact, let me just quickly grab that. Hey, we don't want to lose the spirit of Yahweh Shai, Yahweh man. Hence why, regardless of all that we go through, man, we're out here making our bodies a living sacrifice unto Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai because really we don't want to lose the Lord, man. It's King David when he went off said in Psalms 51 and 11, cast me not away from thy presence and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Hey, we're out here making supplication to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai that he has mercy upon us, man, that he keeps watching over us because really without the Lord, man, we're fucked. <laughs> You know, but with your Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, hey, there ain't nothing that can come against, or come off against us. And we know that as long as we, we, we strive unto the end, man, the Lord's going to watch over watch over us. You know, you read Revelation, the third chapter, in the tenth verse, it says, Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. So the Lord plainly said there, and those are the words that Yahweh Shai read, he said right there that because we kept the the words of his patience, because we, we we maintain in the truth, the Lord when that time of Jacob's trouble comes, is gonna be is gonna be our our saving grace. He's gonna watch over us. He's gonna protect us, man. You know, he's gonna literally be our savior in those last days, man. And that's what we earnestly believe. Of course, some brothers are gonna have to die for this truth. The, the scripture talks about that in Revelations, the second chapter. You know. It talks about that in Revelations, I believe, the 18th chapter, I can look at, or the, or the 20th, let me just quickly look it up. Uh, yeah, Revelations, the 20th chapter, talking about those that were beheaded for the witness of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Revelations 20 and 4. The scripture talks about judgment, you know, and even for the wicked, of course, and it also talks about the, 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 the righteous that are going to have to die for the Lord. But they're going to rise first for Yahweh Shai, man. And that's the beauty in this, that ultimately speaking, as the scriptures say, if nothing shall separate us from the love of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, we ought to have faith in those words and take examples from those ancient men, man, whether that be Daniel, through the, all the tribulations he went through in Babylon, and all of the rest of the heathen, even amongst Jake. Whether that be, you know, some of the other prophets like Jeremiah, Jeremiah, Isaiah, Ezekiel, whether you take, you know, examples from Yahweh Shai himself, you know, when he was on the scene, even in his previous incarnations, whether you take examples from, you know, the twelve, the disciples, Apostle John, all of those great men, man, did what they had to do and they're back here today in that same lot. But guess what? When Yahweh Shai returns, those men are gonna be delivered, those men are gonna be saved. 
right now we're, we're, we're perfecting ourselves man. we're making ourselves literally a living sacrifice as the scripture says in Romans the 12th chapter and the first verse I beseech you therefore brethren by the mercies of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai that you present your bodies a living sacrifice wholly acceptable unto the most high which is your reasonable service and of course it's our reasonable service because really our bodies are nothing but borrowed vessels from the Lord this a hey, the Lord created Israel to be a righteous seed, a nation of kings and priests, as the scripture saith. And if the Lord's called us, man, then we ought to take those talents, like he describes in Matthew the twenty fifth chapter, and flip that, you know, whether you have the five, the two, or even the one. Use what you've been given and make sure that you multiply that, man, and bring back more fruit. Because that's what it's about, man. Building up that building up the 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 the, the, the spiritual empire, you know, of Israel again, man. And then it's going to physically manifest when Yahweh Shai returns on those chariots, man, and delivers his elects before, you know, things get popping. The Most High is going to take us out of the situation. That's why no matter how down you are, no matter how tired you are, you always got to make sure that you make time for the Lord Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai because it's through his mercy that we have this understanding. It's through his mercies that we're able to be out there, man. In the midst, in the midst of the enemy's territory, cursing them out and not having anything done unto us, because the Lord has put His Spirit upon what we do, man. You know. Just a second, again. Because what I want to do real quick is you. You got Acts the fifth chapter. You got. Uh, you got Acts the fifth chapter. You got uh, Daniel as well. Just a second. I believe it's Daniel's eight. Just a second. So okay, let me look this up back here. Uh, Daniel's the sixth chapter. Come. It's Daniel's the sixth chapter. I'm gonna go straight to the point. Daniel's the sixth chapter. Verse 19, then the king arose very early in the morning and went in haste unto the den of lions. This is after Daniel was thrown up in there. But because he had kept the faith of Yahweh, it says here, and when he had came to the den, he cried with a lamentable voice unto Daniel. And, and the king spake and, said, Daniel, spake and said to Daniel, O Daniel, servant of the living God, is thy God whom thou servest continually able to deliver thee from the lions? Then Daniel said unto the king, O king, live forever. My God hath sent his angel and hath shut the lions' mouths, that he have not hurt me. For as much as before him innocency was found in me, and also before thee, O king, I have done no hurt. A Barak of Fire, Yahweh Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, man, because there are many great accounts when the, when, the, when the Lord's men were delivered. Another great example is Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego, man, which is in the Apocrypha. And it tells you that that flame that was, was, was lit was so hot that it killed the men that actually lit the flame that was standing next to it to throw the, 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 to, to, to throw the brothers, man, Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego into the fire. But when they, when they were actually cast in it, there was another man, man, another figure. You know, the spirit leading them, man. And that's the thing, man, because the Lord's going to come out here and do all kind of spiritual works. The Lord is literally going to gonna, gonna, gonna manifest all kind of manner of beautiful methods of salvation. I mean, that's the best way I can explain it, man. And Psalms 91 goes all up into that when it says, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noise and pestilence. Hey, the Lord is going to save us from all of the fuck that's going on out here, man. As long as we maintain our trust in him. You know, literally, every time he was with the disciples, what was one of the main things that he, 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 he exhorted them to have? great faith he said if you have faith the size of a mustard seed man you shall say to this mountain move to yonder place and it shall be moved from before you man that's why when peter was having a lack of faith when you know he was walking on the water the lord told him straight and he caught him and said yes yeah, because you lack faith when the lord was crucified and peter denied him three times the lord knew that peter's faith was going to dip ultimately speaking peter came back man because he is that rock that you i built the church on and the church is israel yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll say that. 
But when ultimately speaking, when, when Yahweh told Peter that he was going to deny him three times, it's because the Lord knew that Peter's faith was going to waver a bit. The disciples at times had waver of faith. Hey, you had Thomas, man, that doubted that Yahweh had actually returned, man. And he asked to put his hand through Yahweh arm, the hole in his arm, to make sure. And he did and realized, yeah, man, the Lord has come back. This is what I'm saying, because nothing can separate us from the love of Yahweh Yahweh Not death, principalities, spirits, nothing. Because at the end of the day, man, as long as we maintain in him, as long as, as long as we stay true to Yahweh man, as long as we stay true to, true to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh he's gonna keep his spirit among us. He's gonna keep his spirit on us, man. You got on, man. You got. You just gotta strive, man. The scripture says, "Strive for the truth unto death." In Jude, the first chapter, he was told to earnestly contend for the faith. If you fight for the Lord, the Lord's gonna fight for you. Yahweh Shai said, "He that confesseth me before men, him will I confess." Before my father which is in heaven It's Luke the 12th chapter and the 8th verse And also I say unto you Whosoever shall confess me before men, him shall the Son of Man also confess before the angels of Yahweh. Yahweh. But he that denieth me before men shall be denied before the angels of Yahweh. Hey, man, man. Meaning that ultimately speaking, if you don't, if you don't exalt Yahweh Shai, man. Hey, man. If you don't exalt Yahweh Shai. The Lord ain't gonna have no mercy upon you, man, because Yahweh Shai is ultimately the mediator of a better covenant. That's why a lot of you wicked ass niggas that try to talk about Yahweh Shai isn't worthy to be praised. Hey, you, it's like, I mean, come on, man, that's 101, man. Just read the book of Revelations, man. He's the one that un, 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 unsealed the book so that we could read it and understand it. You gotta understand, man. <laughs> I mean, you ain't gonna understand, but yo, you gotta understand when the missiles are flying. And the, the martial law truths are breaking through your door and there's no salvation for you. The Lord Jehovah Hashem, Yahweh Shai, is with the meek, man. The meek shall inherit the earth and you best believe, man, that, oh, man, man, us brothers in our right, man, Jehovah Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Razar, Lord willing, the, the, the Lord maintains with us, man. I mean, I feel like the point's been made. I don't want to waffle too much in this video, man. I want to keep it prompt. Hope the edification has been put out there. And until the next time I say, Shalom, Yahweh Shalom.